Hi, this is Chris Lavin from Extreme Polishing Systems. I'm here today in Davie, Florida, and I'm here with Mr. David Chambliss from United Realty hey, Group. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Nice to see you, Dave. Um, I know there's been a lot of calls and a lot of demands in the industry for the metallic epoxy floors. Everybody calls me, they're ordering kits, they want to do this themselves. Uh, Dave actually had a contractor come in to dry and do the metallic floor for you and he botched it. Correct. And said, hey, I think I can do this myself. I want to do this myself. Will you help me? Will you teach me, Chris? So here we are. Um, I'm also here with the gentleman that we introduced yesterday to some of our uh, fan base out there from Garage Kings. We have uh, Mr. Jamie Siemens and we have Tim Frazier from Garage Kings, which we also want to welcome. These, these, guys, these guys are from uh, the, the up in uh, Canada, above Maine, That's from right. New Brunswick. New Brunswick. Yeah. And we have Mr. Bill Waters. How are you, Bill? Good. 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 Bill's, Bill's a longtime uh, friend of mine and also an installer for many years of coding. So he wanted to come along, um, and we we're going to be doing some videoing today to show you how to do a metallic floor properly. Uh, the metallic floor that was done before right now has too many lines in it. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, and tell us what what, what brought you to uh, to us. Well, actually, I'm also friends with Bill. Okay. And uh, I gave Bill a call and I said, look, I want to show you this floor that someone did for me. And he came and looked at it and he says, I need to introduce you to Chris. Okay, and that's how we met. And that's how you're out here. Okay, and you came, you came by the organization? Came by your shop, looked at your warehouse, saw all your facilities, saw all your great employees, saw all your inventory. I know when I see a professional. Okay, so you felt you were in the right place at the right time? Absolutely. Garage Kings, you guys came down from Canada on, what, Wednesday? We yeah. came on, that's, that's right. Tuesday. Yeah. Wednesday, right? Or Tuesday. 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 Tuesday night. Yeah. 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 So what was your overall, like, when, when, you, when you came in, you guys were looking to expand your business? Yeah, we were came down to expand our business, uh, to look at your grinders and your diamonds, and uh, we've been nothing but impressed since we've been here. This is definitely the company to work with, and uh, yeah, we're excited with the building new relationships, and uh, I think both parties are going to go a long way. Yeah, so we were, we, were, we were kind of like starting to teach you guys how to polish concrete floors. Yeah. He walks in and says, hey, can you help me with my floors? These guys say, hey, we want to be involved in this. We're going to come down, we're going to help you show you guys how to install these products properly, okay? So we're gonna show you how to install them properly. You'll be able to order these online. You'll be able to call our phone number down below. Uh, talk to me directly, we answer that phone 24 seven. If you are interested in the garage business or you are in Canada, okay, and you're interested in getting some of this product, you can call these gentlemen right here, Jimmy, Jamie or Tim, right. uh, and they'll be more than happy to help you out. Their phone number is also gonna be down below on this link. So take that look at that and we'll also have their website on there, okay? So if you're interested in getting into the garage business in the States, or in Canada, you guys handle all North America, correct? Yep. And they will show you how you can do a garage in one, two garages in one day. Yep. With one crew. Yep. Two guys. That's nice. So, um, check the, check out their website. They'll show you how to get involved in that opportunity. Uh, and in the meantime, enjoy the rest of this video. All right, let's go. When we start getting ready and we start setting up, how many buckets do we lay out? How does all that work? So this uh, area that we're going to be doing today is about 3,500 square feet. Okay. We're going to use 10 kits okay. of uh, epoxy, so that's three gallons So uh, for each kit. So for each kit, uh, I like to use one five-gallon pail. The reason behind that is I don't like to go more than halfway up on a, on a pail okay. because epoxy, uh, the smaller the container that it's in, the faster it wants to set up. So if you're only going to go about that halfway when you're mixing it, it's going to give you a longer working time. And the other great thing about it is when you don't go more than half, if you fill it right to the top, when you start to pour out, you're going to get a great big bob at the beginning. And then as you try to ribbon it, it's going to get smaller and smaller. So you get a more consistent pour if you're only about halfway up the bucket. That makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. And so you want to take, there's a part A and a part B, and then there's some... The colors. The yeah. Colors. So you, uh, you take your color, your, your part A's, your two part A's, yep. you put them into your five gallon pail, and then you mix your uh, color pox into it. Okay. You mix that up before you do anything, and uh, you let it sit for a second. What that does is it lets the air come out, so you pre-mix all your A's with your color right. before you actually begin. And then you want to work in sections that you can handle. Uh, once it pours out, you got about 15 minute working time. So work in sections that you can do in about 15 minutes, and then you just continue it along. For larger sections like this, it's also nice to 
Uh, if you can't, to mix it all color up in one and then disperse it across the ball equally, so then your color is going to be consistent, so there's not going to be one area that your color is different because of a mess up if you accidentally leave color at the bottom of a pot. The, uh, I've seen this one company that was doing it, and they used this powder mix. Yeah. But I see that Chris's company uses that liquid. Yeah. The color, I think, is fantastic. Yeah, the... Uh, is there an advantage between the liquid and the powder? Yeah, you always know uh, the right amount to use. Um, you get a lot more comets, typically, when you're using a powder, uh, because they kind of clump together when you're mixing a, them in. A comet? A comet, yeah. Uh, a comet is... Uh, like when you when you look at the floor, if you see like a, a line, yeah, like I've seen those shape of a yeah, comet. Yeah. Uh, the big thing from that is powders typically show the more uh, too much color will show too more. So if you go a little bit lighter on your color, you can pretty much eliminate comets. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Well, this office is 34, 3500 square feet. You were talking to me earlier about you want to do this in three part sections. Originally, they. Uh, they seem to do this in, in one complete section. When I do metallics, I like to divide it up into manageable pieces that you can do in about 15 to 20 minutes at a time. So we're gonna do a thousand square feet at a time and keep a wet edge. So we'll work a thousand square feet for about 15 minutes and when the timer goes off, then we'll start fresh, hit the new section with a wet edge and we'll continue on. The reason I like to do that is uh, it keeps more control like you don't want to redo 3,500 square feet. Correct. If the product does for some reason set off fast. Which is what I'm doing today. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah I'm paying for it two or three times, yes. Yeah, yeah that's a costly mistake. Yeah, so, extremely. You know, um, I always like the 15 minute rule. You know, you work a section for 15 minutes and then you're done. Uh, as you get experience with it, you can feel it, you know that once it starts to pull, that you gotta get off of it. So if you work in manageable sections, if the, if the product works a little differently, you're okay. Uh, this product in general though, I find it, the work times are longer than a lot of products out there, and it has a better sheet to it, and it's more scratch resistant than a lot of Fantastic, products. can't wait to see it. Obviously you're gonna be able to tell there's a lot of cooks here that you need in the kitchen, okay, to make the soup, okay? So we've, Mr. Bill Waters is the, good the head chef. He's the head chef, and he's gonna be giving us the play-by-play -play here on what to do to make the perfect soup. All Go right. ahead, Bill. This is right at this point right now, this is the most important area. You don't want a lot of chaos in it. You want to make sure your guy knows what he's doing because anything we do from now on is important to this guy right here. This guy right here that mixes and makes the blends is what the floor is going to look like. So it's very important the guy knows what he's doing. He's my lead man at this point. So at this point right now, we've poured two gallons of resin in each bucket. For every kit, we use a bucket. All right, and then for every bucket, we're, right now we can go, you can go one or two metallics. And we're do, using 101 silver for this floor right now. So we're gonna pre-mix these. We're gonna put two in each bucket and pre-mix them only 60 seconds so we don't put a lot of air in it. it get, and then, then we're gonna let them set a little bit so the air that we put into the bucket is allowed to escape. And once it's escaped, we can then apply our hardener to it and apply it to the floor. So right now, at this point now, we're gonna start pouring these two per bucket, and then we're gonna blend it up so it's a nice blend. And then at that time, we're gonna let the bucket sit for a couple minutes to let the air escape. So this is what we're doing now. Use a spatula to clean out your bucket. You wanna make sure you get all your metallic particles out of here, otherwise you will get color differences. So you want to make this as even as possible. Chris right now is applying. There's your spatula. It's kind of like the bottom of the ice cream when you get down to the really good part. Yes. You got to make sure you get it good to the, the last drop. The nitty gritty. You should be wearing gloves, so make sure you put your gloves on. Now we're we're applying the the uh, metallic pigment to the gallons that we've fixed up here. That we've put two gallons of resin in each bucket. For each gallon, we use one of these metallics in it. And when we have, we're going to pre-mix these, so 
we get the air out of them. It gives them time to get the air out. And you see, we use a spatula. We want to make sure you get everything out of the bucket as much as possible. You don't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be right to the bottom, but to keep all the colors standard and uniformed, we take it all out. We make sure we get it all out of the bottom. Sometimes it'll harden in the bottom, so you have to use a spatula to do that. Now we're gonna do all these buckets, pre-mix them, and then let them set for a couple of minutes and let, and let the air escape that we put into them. Typically what I'll, what I'll do at this point in time is take a hair stick and swipe around it once just to get the resin off the side. What I'm doing now is I'm doing my final brush coat of my metallics. Um, I'm going to be using my magic trial upside down to, to play with the product. The reason I like using it upside down is if you're going over your final pass with it right side up, you tend to uh, leave windshield wiper marks into the product and you're digging into it. Whereas when you're dealing upside down, if you push on it, you're not really hurting the epoxy. So for my final pass, I put my magic trial upside down. Then I just skip across it. If you're using a drill multiple times, it's good to clean it out and not leave the epoxy on it. Uh, what would happen is if you leave that epoxy sitting on it and you're going to do another batch a little bit later on, the new epoxy is going to set off faster because it wants to catch up to the old epoxy. So if the old epoxy is about 30 minutes old, when you mix it in with a new batch, what's going to happen is it's going to set off the new epoxy and it's going to heat up fast and it's going to smoke and it's going to turn into a solid pretty quickly. So make sure that you always use clean buckets, clean tools every time for every new batch. So we're doing our second batch of epoxy, and when we get to our wet edge, you don't want to blend. You can blend them a little bit, but try not to go too much into the old batch. Again, if, if you don't want old epoxy to mix in with new epoxy, because new epoxy will want to be cured as fast as the old epoxy. So if this is 15 minutes old, the new stuff will want to be 15 minutes old, and you're going to lose your work time. So it's going to break it down from 20 minutes to about 5 minutes. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed the steps and the process that we've just gone and shown you on how to do the metallics, which I believe, I think people out there in, in YouTube land are going to say, hey, this is really a pretty easy thing to install. I can do it myself. That's right. It's always easier to hire a professional, though. No kidding. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously you're going to spend a little bit more money, but you're dealing with guys who do this on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I know that a lot of things always look easier on YouTube than they really are in life. However, we do have a huge do-it-yourself market. Um, we have a lot of people that, that will do these floors by themselves. They purchase buildings. They want to do the floor themselves because they don't want to pay the money to the contractor for doing all the work. Yeah. Um, so I normally provide two prices. I normally provide a price of what it would cost for the materials, and I provide a price of what it's going to cost for them to have a professional do it. Um, and the one thing I, that I like about this particular metallic product is it's very decorative.
It's seamless, it's super shiny, it's easy to work with, and, and the end result is amazing. And everybody that walks in to a metallic floor says what? They love it. They do. They, holy cow. They go, holy cow, or they go, wow. Wow, that's a great floor. And it's really the, it's the floor of the future. Um, and I'll be honest with you, it's, it holds up. It's got, it's got you know, abrasion resistance. It's got gloss level, very reflective. Um, and really, there's no mold, no mildew. No, it's no, seamless, there's no pores to it. Yeah, it's no allergens. Yeah, so if you have problems with uh, any types of you know, asthma or, or people have allergies to some of the spores and stuff that are in the air, in the bedrooms, they get in carpets. I'm doing a lot of like full houses, the bedrooms, they're tearing out the carpeting. Um, and, it's, and it's awesome. So, anyways, I want to go over again with the Garage Kings because they've been really nice enough to hang out with us for the last couple of days and we've enjoyed having you it's here. It's been fun. Um, I'm going to say this to anybody that's in Canada, okay? If, if you are looking for a business opportunity, okay, where you want to make money beyond your wildest dreams, call these gentlemen up, okay? They've got a, a, a proprietary system that they have developed for doing garage floors in the shortest period of time known to man, okay? And you guys actually go out and tell, tell people what you do with it. That's right. So we will come to your market. We'll teach you how to use our systems, how to sell, and how to, how, to, how to get business, how to do the work in a way that's profitable, how to avoid all the most common pitfalls and the most common mistakes that'll cost you money, and uh, set you up with all the equipment you need to do it right, and you're off and running. Right. So they're going to get your proprietary blend of product. Yep. They're going to get a uh, concrete genie. They're going to get the tools. They're going to get the vacuum. They're going to get everything they need. The shoes, the everything. squeegees. Everything. Yeah. And they're going to get professionally designed branding material, marketing material that's going to help them get work. And, and we're here to support them every step of the way. Yeah. And the, and the biggest thing I like about these guys is they pick up their phones. I pick up my phone, okay? So if, even if you're sitting there and you don't know what time it is where we're at, give us a call. We pick up the phone. We're more than happy to share our successes with you. And we look forward to working with you. So please don't hesitate to give us a call. Shop online at extremepolishingsystems.com and make sure you check out garagekings.ca. Garagekings .ca. Canada. Garagekings.ca. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks a lot, man. We appreciate all of your uh, kindness and we look forward to working with you guys in the future. Very good. All the best. All right. We'll see you guys.